हेलो स्टूडेंट्स देयर इज अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू नाउ यू कैन राइट द सेम मैटर एट डिफरेंट स्पीड्स लिंक ऑफ द सेम इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स थैंक यू स्टार्ट टू पर्सन वर वर्किंग एज कॉल कटर इन द कंपनी स्टॉप अकॉर्डिंग टू द मैनेजमेंट दे वर गिल्टी ऑफ सेवरल लैप्सिस स्टॉप दे वर सर्व विद ए चार्ज शीट विद द चार्जेस दैट दे हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन ए स्ट्राइक एंड मेड पिकटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ एडिशनल चीफ मैनेजर कन्फाइनिंग हिम इन हिज ऑफिस एंड दे अलोंग विद अदर वर्कमैन एब्यूज द चीफ मैनेजर इन फिल्थी लैंग्वेज स्टॉप दे रेज स्लोगन्स एंड एब्यूज द ऑफिसर अलोंग विद अदर्स स्टॉप दे ऑल्सो लेड ए प्रोसेशन विद द एफ जी ऑफ द मैनेजर एंड अटैम्प्टेड टू बर्न द सेम एंड दे हैव ब्रोकन द गेट विद एन इंटेंशन टू डू फिजिकल हार्म स्टॉप दे स्टॉप्ड ऑल द वर्कमैन फ्रॉम गोइंग टू द वर्क एंड इंडल्ज इन ए स्ट्राइक एंड दीज एक्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट वायोलेशन ऑफ सब सेक्शन वन ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एक्ट एंड दैट इट अमाउंट्स टू सीरियस मिसकंडक्ट अंडर द स्टैंडिंग ऑर्डर्स स्टॉप पैरा द पिटिशनर्स वर गिवन थ्री डेज टाइम टू सबमिट देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन स्टॉप दे वर ऑल्सो आस्कड टू अपीयर फॉर इंक्वायरी स्टॉप द पिटिशनर्स सबमिटेड देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन डिनाइंग द चार्जेज स्टॉप एंड एंक्वायरी वॉज कंडक्टेड एंड द पिटिशनर्स वर फाउंड टू बी गिल्टी एंड दे वर डिसमिस्ड फ्रॉम सर्विस बाय प्रोसीडिंग्स स्टॉप पैरा द पिटिशनर्स रेज एन इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एंड द मैटर वॉज रेफर्ड अंडर सेक्शन सेवन ए एंड टेन ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एक्ट टू द इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रिब्यूनल हैदराबाद फॉर एजुडिकेशन स्टॉप para before the tribunal the workmen contended that the order of dismissal was invalid and the findings of the inquiry officer are perverse and erroneous stop the matter was contested by the management supporting the action of dismissal stop para a preliminary objection was raised that the inquiry is vitiated by non observance of the principles of natural justice and this objection was overruled by order stop the tribunal held that the domestic inquiry was held properly and there was no any violation of principles of natural justice stop para no oral evidence was adduced before the tribunal but the workmen filed three documents is a judgment on the file of judicial magistrate first class in which the two petitioners and 13 others were charged under sections 147 448 and 506 ipc stop the workmen were acquitted of all the charges stop para on a consideration of the material on record the tribunal held that the order of dismissal is not justified particularly in view of the fact that the criminal court had passed an order of acquittal in respect of the very same charges and even on merits the dismissal is not justified stop it is the validity of this order that is challenged in this writ petition stop para the learned counsel for the management mainly contended that the award is vitiated by an illegality in as much as the tribunal proceeded on the footing that all the incidents covered only one incident adjudicated by the criminal court stop he submitted that criminal case covered only one incident relating to burning of the fg of the manager and trespass into the premises stop the other charges were not the subject matter of the criminal case stop the incident alleged to have taken place on june 23 1983 and the strike conducted was not the subject matter of the criminal case stop the industrial tribunal proceeded on a wrong impression that all the charges were the subject matter of criminal prosecution and the workmen were acquitted stop this approach had vitiated the entire order stop therefore it is liable to be set aside stop he further submitted that the industrial tribunal has no jurisdiction to reappraise the evidence and 
come to a different conclusion on merits stop having found that the domestic inquiry was conducted properly the tribunal erroneously considered the evidence as if it is an appellate authority and recorded its own findings on merits which are not permissible stop the industrial tribunal has only power to modify the punishment of it is of the opinion that it is disproportionate to the charges leveled against the workman stop but it cannot be- go beyond that power stop para on the other hand it is argued by learned counsel for the workman that the charges leveled against the workman are substantially covered the criminal court's judgment in which the workman were acquitted of all the charges stop he further submitted that the tribunal did not rest its decision only on that point stop the tribunal considered the evidence and the material on record and found that the dismissal is not justified and with the introduction of section 11a in the industrial disputes act the labor court or the industrial tribunal has ample power to go into the questions of fact and satisfy itself about the justification of the dismissal order stop it can also consider whether the punishment imposed is reasonable having regard to the gravity of the charges stop